everybody saying that I got it. Tired of everybody trying to check my pockets. I can't look for handouts, no, I never rain ain't signing. Rather get it out the mud, no, so selling just for dumb. Straight out the porch, I want to go straight right to it. I ain't even had to get it out through a rap by myself and I pop my fluid. What is cooking? Good looking. So welcome back to the most unconventional, doesn't make sense YouTube channel. I'm Tay Renee. And thank you for joining me. As y'all saw by the title, this past weekend, I was living in a dream. I was residing in Dreamville. So I want to tell y'all about it. Uh, Yeah. So, but before I get into Dreamville, so I was trying to figure out like, y'all, like, how am I going to, how do I want to tell this story? You know, living in a dream. How do I want to tell it? Do I want to go piece by piece and tell y'all step by step, day by day, what I did? Or did I want to, you know, just do the montage and then talk about it after? And I think I'm going to do the montage and talk about it after. So here, here goes. Here is me, first time ever in Dreamville. I went by myself and it was amazing. I loved it. And here you go. Thank you. Please make some noise for your motherfucking self for standing in this motherfucking weather like this. Man. Please make some noise for your motherfucking self for being beautiful, man. I'm happy and I'm honored to be a part of this appreciated drama. Thanks to girls, you already know what it is. My name is Tun Chen. Let's go. I can't um can't lie to you um I have I went by myself like I told y'all before one of my best friends shy she lives in North Carolina so I stayed with her but she didn't come to the concert with me unfortunately this time because you know stuff happens and she just couldn't make it but I I had already got my stuff so I went and I went by myself um and I really enjoyed myself it was amazing it was chaotic but it was good at the same time. So it was my first Dreamville. Um, so I really didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to what to bring, if I needed this, what I needed for this, what I need for that. Um, sorry, I'm gonna be drinking my juice. Back to Dreamville. Yeah, so let me, I'll start by this. I'll start with the first day. So like I said, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to expect. So I all I brought with me, was my phone this is the first day because i didn't know what i was expecting so i brought my phone my id um the money that i had the glasses that i had on my face i'm trying to think if i brought anything else that first that was it and so i brought that first day because one i knew i knew it was a festival so i knew i was going to be standing up most of the time i didn't want to have to hold or put nothing on the ground and pick it pick it up put it down. i didn't so that's why I condensed it to just my phone and those other items. Also because they also were saying that you couldn't bring in certain type of bags. I didn't want to have to go buy a clear bag. I didn't want to go buy a small little clutch. I didn't I didn't want to because I had pockets and you know I trusted myself, which I shouldn't because I'll lose everything. But I did. I trust myself and I was like, you know, I'm not even gonna, you know, get none of that. Come to find out people had their purses, backpacks, they had people had everything in there. Um for those who participate in the recreational use of green stuff, of broccoli, if you um, partake in that. So I didn't the first day, right? I did not partake because 
I did not know that she could have that out there because, you know, police is out there. And in North Carolina, smoking broccoli is not a, a legal thing to do. So I didn't bring it on the first day. Learned my lesson. Brought it the second, though. Brought my broccoli. I stayed healthy. I'm a healthy kid. Okay. Uh, but the first day I didn't. Um, also, the first day was the more chill day. So Saturday was the more chill day. Um, there was who performed on Saturday? Kehlani, Ashanti, Ja Rule, uh, Moneybag Yo, Lil Baby. Um, who else performed on the first day? I don't know. Some other people. Um, I personally, going into Dreamville, um, I knew I wanted to see three people for sure. 100%. But, so this is before going in. I said for sure I want to see, excuse me, four people. Kehlani, Ari Lennox, J. Cole, and Lil Wayne. Those were the four people that I wanted to see perform the most. So I was um, making sure that I was present and in a good spot for all of those performances, except for Ari Lennox, and I will tell you why. Okay, so the first day, again, like I said, it was chill day. There was back in, like, the first day you had, like, 45 minutes in between each, you know, set. So people actually had time to go and move and go back and forth and actually get good spots to see the performances. Also, it wasn't as many people on that first day as well, because, you know, most people are there to see J. Cole and then the, the bigger names on the second day. So it wasn't that as busy the first day. And, oh, also didn't tell y'all, I was there by myself, but I, you know, me, social butterfly that I am, I just talked to people. And, you know, this one girl actually came up to me while we was waiting on the, while we was waiting for the shuttle to get to Dreamville. And she was just like, you here by yourself? I'm here by myself. And I'm like, yeah, girl. And to be honest, we just kind of just like stuck together because I don't know, it was just that. That's what we just did. And we stuck together. Also on that first day, let me tell you this crazy story. How long is this video? Y'all, I'm really not trying to talk that much. I know you'll probably get tired of me talking, but I just, I, I can't do nothing else but talk and tell you what's going on. So that first day, the girl I was with, like I told y'all, I met this girl. Um, she was lovely. She was so nice. Like she didn't, she didn't have to, you know, stick around. And she was older too. She was 29. Uh, she had to stick around with this young girl who don't know what she doing. She's just crazy and just running around. You know, she didn't have to, but she stuck with me. Um, but while we're waiting, so we just finished watching Ja Rule and Ashanti perform. Uh, I'll rate the performances at the end too, quickly. And we're waiting on Kehlani's set. It was about 45 minutes, almost an hour before her set went on. And all of a sudden she she puts her sh arm on my shoulder to, you know, for balance. Cause she was doing something with her shoe and she just fell into me. She had passed out y'all. This is no joke. She had passed out. And like on, on the, and I'm, you know, you growing. I ain't got big muscles, but I'm in shape a little bit. And I'm trying to pick this girl up because she was smaller than me and I weigh 150 because she was smaller than me and I'm trying to pick this this girl up and I can't get her up I'm like yo dead weight is something else y'all I can't lie picking up dead weight you got to be strong to pick up dead weight because there ain't no help none so I'm trying to pick her up I'm, I'm trying but other people finally came and started helping me grabbing her so, you know, just like if you've ever been to another festival or if you watch festivals, when somebody is has fainted or passed out or is hurt, people start yelling, medic and all that stuff. So people are yelling for the medic to come, but they're telling them, telling us to bring her to them because they are at the front of the stage. So the medic people, this, this is the stage and the medic people are on the side to the left of the stage. And so we're put, we move, move, she's passed out. We, me and this other girl who had helped me because we were all around each other. I mean, we're all talking, might as well. We we're kind of packed like sardines in there. You might as well get to know the person you're just smelling their breath, you know? So me and another girl I was talking to, we are dragging her through the people, get to the front, throw her over the uh, fence or the barricade to the medics. And they don't say nothing to us. And me and the girl just left standing there, right? But we're in the front, like in the front before Kehlani and who did I say I wanted to see Kehlani and guess who I seen in the front Kehlani because I was not moving no I was not now was it unfortunate that she passed out yes 
It was very unfortunate. And mind you, yes, I was calling, texting her, continuously making sure she was okay. Um, but because I had moved up closer to the stage, I don't know if it was because of all the, you know, the electronics that are being used on the on the stage and around the stage that I had no connection. I, I had no, no connection whatsoever. Um, so my messages were going through to her, but as text messages, but they weren't, I'm not getting, I wasn't getting any her messages back. Um, so, so yeah, that's how I got to the front to see Kaylani. And that's why you, when you saw those videos of Kaylani, like right there, cause I was right there. She almost could touch me. Yeah. Great performance. Um, so yeah, that was first day. Moving on to the second day. So second day, second day. It's the, it's the heavy hitters, baby. Heavy hitters, second day on the Sunday, right? And on Sunday, they had back to back to back to back to back to back to back. There was, you were going from stage to stage. So at Dreamville, they had two stages. They had Shine and Rise. And um, on both, on the second day, when one show ended, another one started at, in like 10 minutes at the other stage. So people are, we are migrating like, you know, back and forth, back and forth, running. Some people are running so they can catch the certain person they want to see, you know. Um, that's one thing I will say I did not like about Dreamville. Just because the, that was the only thing. Not that I didn't like it. It's just that it was hectic. And I got, I missed out. Here I go. I missed out on seeing a few people because of the fact that going back and forth, you really don't get to see people get a good spot up close and then now you got to watch them from the back or you couldn't watch them because you're trying to watch somebody else and get a good spot for that person so yeah that's the one thing i would change is that maybe on saturday add some of those people from sunday so that way it won't be so heavy on that second day and that way people get a chance to really see every performance that would be something i would change um but that second day was the energy that was in that in that park was on a different level. So I met up, I met back up with that same girl. She hit me up that night and was like, girl, I'm okay. You know, I just got a little dehydrated. I thought I, I thought I drank enough water and I didn't. And it was hot out there. It was hot, hot sure during the day, but it got hella cold at night. Um, and so the second day we met up again. So I'm with her walking around. And like I said, I brought my broccoli the second day. So, so I brought my broccoli the second day, um, but I forgot um, an igniter, right? I forgot something to ignite it, to ignite my broccoli, to heat it up, you know? So because I didn't have anything to heat my broccoli up, I was like, dang, I gotta find people. Because the day before, everybody was out there cooking their broccoli. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to be cooking my broccoli too, but I didn't have no igniter to you know, cut the stove on. So, um, I was like, I'm gonna go up to some people or somebody or find the people. And I, you know, the universe and the most high just aligns you with people. Really the universe and your energy, your own energy really aligns you with, um, other energies around you. And I just happened to go up to these girls. So I saw them, you know, uh, heating up their broccoli and I asked them, can I borrow or pay you for an igniter because uh, I want to cook my broccoli and I forgot my igniter. And they said, girl, don't even worry about it. Yeah, sure. So because they let me borrow an igniter, something that ignites my broccoli and get it cooking, I returned the favor by sharing my broccoli, you know? And then they started sharing their broccoli. And we all were just sharing broccoli. Now I would say that is dangerous. I would say that is dangerous. I would not recommend that um, to any kids, to any even adults. Don't just be eating up people's broccoli because you don't know if they put honey on the broccoli. You don't know if they put in Cajun seasoning. You don't know if they put in salt pepper. You don't know what they put on that broccoli. So don't try, don't do this at home kids. Me, I was living life on the edge, taking a risk, but don't be like me, do better than me. <laughs> That's why I say, like, I'm, this is the most, I'm the most whatever. And so, yeah, so, yeah, I shared my broccoli. They shared their broccoli. And so we all just stuck together for the entire day just sharing broccoli. It was the most, like, elevated 
I had felt. <laughs> um, and it was lovely. They're, they were lovely as well. Lovely people. I, I met some great people out there. Can't lie. I will not. I will say this. Never not do something because you're going to be alone doing it. Because you never know who you might come in contact with, with that makes that whatever, whatever you're doing at the time makes it 10 times better or makes it better for you, you know? So don't, um, and not necessarily just your friends or whoever, but don't wait on anybody. If you want to go do something that you've been wanting to do, and normally you would do that with a group of people or more than just yourself, but nobody else can make it with you or nobody else wants to make it with you, do that shit yourself because don't, yeah. Based off of what I just experienced this weekend, now I will never, I don't care from now on, based off of this weekend, for sure, for sure. If I want to go do something and no one else is going to do it with me, it's not going to stop me anymore. Not going to stop me because I, you can't let other people dictate what you're doing with your life. You can't let what other people are doing, what, how they move, affect how you move. If that makes sense in a certain way, you know what I'm saying? Of course, now if people are doing you wrong, move differently. But in this situation, I mean, just because they want to be like, oh, I don't, I don't want to do that. Who wants to go to that? I'm not paying this amount of money for that. Da, da, da. Whatever. Okay. Don't let it stop you. Dreamville cost me $311. Um, it cost me, because gas is $5 now, it cost me a total of $100 in gas to get there and back. I drove from Montgomery, Alabama to uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, or our daughter Dunn, North Carolina, and then shots took me to the concert in Ra uh, was it in Raleigh? Yeah, in Raleigh. But uh, don't don't stop yourself from doing something because other people don't want to get involved and don't want to do it, don't want to pay. Da da da. Okay, fine, that's cool. Like I said, it cost me so total. I probably spent on <laughs> just the trip um, for the tickets and for transportation and stay because I didn't pay to stay obviously I stayed with a friend um I spent about $450 right now did I buy merch yes yeah, so that took me that took me up so I spent a little much a little bit more but I will say if you can you know if you know how to work it you you don't you don't have to come out of your pocket that much and with Dreamville I personally feel personally believe that the $300, $311, that's how much it was after tax, um, was worth it because of all the people I got to see. Uh, if you think about it, little Baby by himself, a concert, depending on where, you know, he's having the concert at, because of course, bigger cities is going to be a little bit more expensive. If it's a different type of venue, it's going to be more expensive, uh, you know, all that stuff. But little Baby's concert tickets average around $90 to $125, right? And that's probably, then that's probably just his general admission for like, or high seats, depending on the place. You see what I'm saying? For one person. And I saw 15, 20 different artists. You know what I'm saying? Like it's worth the money, um, most definitely. So I would recommend going to Dreamville. Now, if I was on Dreamville staff and I was a coordinator of Dreamville, my input would be, one, they need more chairs out there. Can't, I know it's a festival and it's supposed to be out there and people are supposed to be standing and enjoying. I need more seats. My back was on fire the second day. It was already hurting from the first day, right? But the first day wasn't as bad because there wasn't as many people out there. I did sit, I was able to find some park uh, little benches and sit on those. But the second day, it was 20 people. There was no seating. They had three picnic tables out there. And if you wasn't in the VIP, you wasn't sitting down. So, unless you want to sit down on the ground. Nope. Baby. When I say my back, I said, listen. Listen. Mm -hmm. That shit hurt. I, more chairs, Dreamville. More seating. Not a lot, but maybe have a one little area for seating. Because there's all, there was also no area to sit and eat your food. There was food out there, but I'm, sit, I'm standing up eating the grilled cheese. And I chose grilled cheese because that was the cheapest thing they had out there at, at $9, okay? I forgot about that. Let me add that into the uh, what I spent. So I probably spent about $500 because grilled cheese was 10 A bottle of water was $4. Uh, 
I did get a drink the first day because I forgot my broccoli. So I got a drink and the drink was $18. Didn't do it that again. Didn't do it the second day. Nope. Wasn't paying that again. No, I was not. Um, yeah, more seating. Also, more activities between the... So if you're not going to split the you know people up like I suggested before because it was too heavy on the second day, honestly. They could have put some of the people on the first day. But if you're not going to do that and you're going to have space or time in between sets of people like they did on the first day have some like big kid games out there i mean give me the big size you know giant size bowling ball pins and inflatables you know something because we're kids at heart there's grown people out there but we're big kids so well at least i'm a big kid and i would have appreciated a little something for me to do in between instead of just standing there especially when homegirl passed out and now I'm really by myself. So I'm just standing around, just waiting for the next performance. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Activities, cornhole, something. So those are my suggestions for Dreamville. And that was a little bit of my experience at Dreamville. I love it. I will be back next year. Um, and the year after that, and the year after that, and the year after that. Oh, I didn't tell you. So second day I didn't get to see our Ari Linux. One of the people, I wanted to see. I was like, I'm dead set on seeing Kehlani and Ari Lennox because they were the only R&B girls that performed besides Ashanti. But, yeah. You get what, that pause, you got it. You got it. So, I really want to see Kehlani and Ashanti. I'm, Kehlani and Ari Lennox, I'm so sorry. Um, But I didn't see Ari because, now let me tell you why. I'm not even going to tell her why. Didn't go see Ari. You said you wanted to see her. I didn't go see Ari. I realized I wasn't going to be able to see her when I got there because of the fact of this. Because they were so back and forth, back and forth, and it was getting packed, more and more packed as the night got closer to J. Cole, that I had to start making decisions. You either want to see, you either want to see front row of Ari, right? Or you want to be in the very back to see Lil Wayne. And here was my deciding factor on that. Because Ari Lennox is fresh and she will still tour, she does shows frequently and she does shows not too far from here in Atlanta. She's done them multiple times and she'll probably do more. I said, I can pass on seeing her here today. But Lil Wayne does not consistently perform and for, for me to be from BR and never have to see, and never seen Lil Wayne is a kind of a disappointment for myself. So I said, I'm going to see him because he doesn't perform that much anymore. You know what I'm saying? So I said, yeah, I'm gonna be there. And I made it, nice, good spot for Lil Wayne, but I had to sacrifice Ari Lennox and that's why. So quickly, let me go through the um, performances that I did see and that I can rate. Um, let's go with starting with Ja Rule and Ashanti. I'm doing everything out of 10 based on uh, vocals. I'm gonna do it based on vocals, energy, like stage presence and perform like the entire performance right best out of 10 i'm gonna give a shanti and ja rule a five i'm uh kehlani kehlani is 10 out of 10. Mm, i love her but i will give i'm gonna give her a nine didn't go watch money bag yo also only performed for eight minutes y'all look that up he performed for eight or nine minutes no joke he did wakisha he did looked at my wrist got time today uh i thought a broke nigga said something that's it. Then he left. Uh, didn't see little baby either, so I can't really rate those two. Yeah, saw Wiz Kid. Um, Wiz Kid, I'll give him a six point five. Rico Nasty, ten. No joke, ten out of ten. Nasty. Boz, ten. Can't cap. Never heard of Boz. I didn't realize that I knew one of his songs, and that's the AP. Then it was down on us and then it was that song. I didn't know that that was Boz, but I Boz made a fan out of me. Uh, he brought out B Love. B Love was had to be on them drugs, so he was really, really nervous. So I'm gonna give B Love, I'm gonna give because of that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna hope that he was nervous. I'm gonna give B Love a five. Bia, I saw Bia. Um, Bia, I'll give her a seven. Can't lie, it's Bia, seven, seven point. You know what? Well, I'll give Bia eight. Wiz Khalifa. This hurts me because you know the broccoli was being cooked. 
everywhere at the time. And it was so wonderful to see. Uh, but, I keep looking at myself, I'm sorry y'all. Uh, but, I would give him a seven though. And this is being honest, I give him a seven. Because if I didn't already just like him, I probably would have gave him maybe a three. You know what I'm saying? Wale. I'm gonna give Wale a freaking four because Wale was freaking late. Uh, T-Pain, 10. 10, 10, 10 across the board. T-Pain, 10. Oh, Lil Wayne, Jeezy, and uh, T.I. <laughs> um, honestly, Lil Wayne, I'm gonna give Lil Wayne an eight. All right? T.I., maybe six, seven. Dre Jeezy, six, seven. Um, and lastly, J. Cole. We'll give J. Cole a 9.6. That's it. Um, but yeah. That was my dream feel experience. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you like this freaking hat, is called it's the hat is truly grateful. That's the brand. Um, it was established in 2021 by my girl Jada. J Fly Baby. Um, I mentioned Jada before in one of my other videos about she told me the one, she was the one that told me about trading um and about um cryptocurrency and all that stuff. Uh, this is her company, her brand. She just revamped. She got these hats in several different colors. She got green, blue, red, and mustard yellow. And they're only $35. They ship, she ships them in two, three days. It's like, you know when black people do the thing and they do it right, invest. Put your, you want somebody who's, who's doing it right Who's putting her, who's doing her business the right way? Be the one. Be the one with it on. Because it's gonna blow up. This will, her company is going to blow up. Her brand is going to blow up. Be the first with it on. Be the first to support to support. Seriously. Um, yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all. I will see y'all in the next video. Um, peace out. Peace up. HL down. <laughs> <clears throat> this is not a um not an app for honest kids because it's actually disgusting this has no flavor no sugar i look fucking crazy ah! be loved and knew his own words anyways this video's getting long damn 30 minutes i'm about to cut some shit okay they went on before T lil wayne i'm like get lil wayne on the stage i don't care get him on the stage Maybe a lot of editing. Tired of everybody saying that I got it. Tired of everybody trying to check my pockets. I can't look for handouts, no, I never ain't signing. Rather get it out the mud, no, so selling just for dumb. Straight out the ports, I want to get.